All right, so now we've got the cup halfway done. Uh, we've got it taped off and we've got it half painted white. We're gonna take our fluorescents now and we are gonna basically uh, spray paint them in a beautiful pattern and we're gonna use our glitters to go over the fluorescent colors. So we see we have the glitters to match the colors. We've got Avery, Ezra, Raf, Rafa, and Declan to match the fluorescent colors of Rust-Oleum. So these are all the Rust-Oleum fluorescents. I love them, they're super fun to work with. They are a little bit transparent and that's why we have the white base. So we will be spraying the um, uh, fluorescent colors over the white base of this cup. Um, so I'm gonna take this outside and get it sprayed and we'll be right back. Okay, now that we got the paint on here, it's super pretty. Um, we're gonna put our colors over the top. We're gonna use a spray adhesive. I'm just gonna use Krylon Easy Tack. This is a repositional tack. Um, I'm gonna just spray it all over and we are going to apply our glitters um, basically at an angle with the colors that match. Um, our little, little Ian Rose glitters, the way you open them when you receive them is to slide the scissors in just below where the uh, Ziploc part is and cut them open. That way you save your label, you still know what name it is, and it is still sealed up nice and tight so that there's no damage to the label or the, the bag and you don't accidentally rip open the bag and spill all your glitter out. Um, this is just the easiest way to do it. You can also then store them in any container you want um, if you don't want to work with the little uh, the, the baggies. So we have Ezra, we're going to do Avery, then Ezra, then we're going to do uh, Rafa to Declan. So it's going to go, sorry, going backwards. We're going to go, oops, nope, one, two, three, four. We're going to go right down the row, um, applying the colors over the, uh, the spray adhesive. Here we go. Okay, I just held my, took my spray adhesive out and we are going to now lay down a piece of parchment paper and we're gonna go ahead and apply this color by color. I'm gonna make a nice duck, dump bucket for y'all. This will be a nice bright colored dump bucket. But if you wanted to save your glitter and not make a dump bucket, then you just, it, between each color, you just put it right back in the bag but on this round, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Avery is a beautiful, beautiful hot pink. He pairs well with our color um, Thin, if you wanna do it with a chunky uh, mix. All right, so that's Avery. Now we're gonna go with Ezra. If you're also looking for maybe even a brighter color in the orange category, you can go with Nile. He's another one of our neons. He's a bright orange as well. So he's he works well for the neon collection. Turbo's making his little debut back there. Making sure he says his two cents while mommy's on camera. <laughs> All right, get this all the way up there. Tap that down. Now we're gonna go with Rafa. off any excess then going in with Declan who we'll finish us off right here this is the top piece perfect so now we're gonna let that dry and then we will come in and we will start Ooh, that's gonna be a very pretty dumb bucket um, we're gonna let this dry and then for about 35 minutes and then we're gonna do a layer of epoxy over the top, probably with, uh, oh, sorry, we will do a clear spray and then we'll get some epoxy on this. All right, we'll be back in about 30 minutes. All right, guys, so we've got the cup ready. We're gonna do the hang method now. This has all been prepped. You can see um, I've got it taped off with our blue painter's tape and then we added our glitter colors. So now we just need to do a quick little hang method over the top to seal these glitters in. Um, it's going to be nice and uh, it's going to hold these glitters in place. So before I did this um, yesterday, so before I did this yesterday, I went and spray painted this with a clear coat 
a very good solid coat of clear coat to hold these epoxy, I mean, these glitter colors in place as we do the epoxy. Uh, we've used Little and Rose Pouring Art Epoxy parts A and B. Um, equal parts, you measure it with a little scale. So we have this little scale on our website. You can always grab it there. Um, and our epoxy is available on our website as well, littleandrose.com. Um, we're gonna, I've, I've mixed a little extra because I'm doing some jewelry pieces today. Um, so I'm gonna use a little extra, I'm gonna keep that um, on the side to do my little pieces. Um, we're gonna use about two mLs to go over the top. Usually you do two mLs to coat the entire cup for the base, but because we're going over glitter um, on half the cup, we're gonna need a little bit of extra. So I'm going to, first I'm gonna make sure the bottom is completely covered. The bottom has glitter as well. And then we're gonna start bringing this glitter, I mean this epoxy down the side over the top of this glitter. Now we don't need to kind of, we're just gonna go right along the edge of where the epoxy and the tape meets. We don't really need to go over the part uh, where the tape is. We don't wanna waste any of the epoxy. So we're just gonna just bring it down the side. Uh, hang method takes some elbow grease. If it's really easy to do, then you're probably using too much epoxy and it's gonna drip on you and you're gonna get lumps and bumps and possibly bubbles. Um, the hang method should take uh, very, very little epoxy and it should take some serious elbow grease to get it moved down the cup. Just by just repeated dragging with your finger and pressure it will bring that glitter down the cup. Now, remember, the reason the glitters are not sliding down the cup is because we did the clear coat over the top. All right, so once you get it and it's kind of dried out and it's not really moving down the cup, that's how you know that you will need, oh, there's some more, getting it, pull that down. This is not meant to get a smooth finish. The first layer of epoxy of the hang method is just to really seal in that glitter so that we can put uh, tape over the top and make sure it doesn't move because just paint will not uh, keep it down. If we were to peel this tape and tape off just the glitter and then do our second half, it would actually um, uh, peel up the glitter That's when we remove the tape from over the glitter. So by adding this little layer of epoxy, it's kind of solidifying that this glitter will stay in place when we tape off this portion of the cup to uh, do the other side of our, our divide. I hope this makes sense for you guys. Makes sense in my head, but a lot of stuff makes sense in my head that doesn't make sense to other people. Uh, so once we get both sides done for the, um, for the divide, then we'll just go ahead and put it on our turner and do a full coat of epoxy. Right now, what we're just doing is prepping it so that we can do the second side. So um, what I'm doing is anywhere where it just seems to be super dry and I'm not, I don't have any epoxy left to bring down. I'm just dipping my finger just so gently and getting a tiny bit of epoxy on the end of my finger and adding it to that dry spot. But again, like I said, you don't want to overuse because it'll start, um, uh, epoxy is self-leveling and it will start moving down the cup and it will give you some serious ripples that you're gonna kind of have to contend with down the road and you don't want to have that. All right, that looks pretty good. Ooh, a couple of random flakes of glitter, chameleon glitter. I don't know where those came from. Okay. Okay, so we've got this cup, cup pr pretty much covered. Now what we want to do, set our epoxy off to the side. Now we're going to do the fun part. We're going to do the, the peel. 
So now we're going to go and take this tape from the inside. Ooh, it's a little tricky. Oh, maybe we do it from the top. I am going to use my tweezers. Make sure my hands are really cleaned off. And take my tweezers. And we're going to try to peel this tape. We're going to start removing the tape. Okay, just like that. Sorry, cups kind of moving around here. Definitely keep your gloves on for this part because you will probably make contact with the epoxy and you want to protect your skin. Because even if you don't have an allergy right away, you could develop an allergy. The more contact you have with the epoxy, the more likely you are to um, develop an allergy down the road. So you just want to take precautions. here. These are our weeding tweezers. We have these on our website. These are awesome tweezers. They are fantastic for weeding really fine detailed things and they have such a sharp little point they get right in there. I love them. And here goes our last one. So now we have this beautiful swirl half divide and uh, we're going to let this cure overnight and then we will work on the second half of the divide. Super beautiful. I may have to keep this one for myself. I say that all the time and then I never keep it. Um, all right, so this is our neon collection and we're going to let it cure overnight. We'll see you guys soon. All right, guys, so you can see right here, I've got the tape and we just put the line of painter's tape right on the edge of the glitter and then press down nice and firmly. And now we're gonna go, sorry, that's my little turd bird. He thinks he's protecting us from the wind. Um, and now you're gonna take more tape and we're just gonna basically cover this up and that is to protect it from the overspray. Cause when we spray the, uh, the other side, we don't want any of the spray paint getting under here. And that's why the one layer of hang method epoxy is perfect for this because it makes it to where that glitter will stay put underneath this painter, painter's tape when we peel it up but it's not adding that much weight. Like if we did a full round of epoxy, that's gonna add a whole bunch of weight. Um, but just doing this quick little hang method does not add a lot of weight. So now we're gonna basically go through and cover the bottom for the same reason. We don't want overspray. So we're just gonna do little pieces along the edge to cover up that and work our way along and cover that up. Just kind of like what you guys see me do when I do my uh, geodes. I use the little pieces of tape. That one wants to be a little bit too aggressive.
Okay, and then make sure that last little tiny bit covered. Now we'll take this out and ooh, there's look at that. Guaranteed little paint would find its way in there. So we're just gonna cover that spot. All right, so now we're gonna take this out and I'm gonna spray paint this other side black. And then we were gonna let it dry and we'll come back in and add our glitter. All right, so I'm gonna put this on my little arm that I use for spray painting and I'm gonna spray paint this side black and we'll be right back. All right guys, so now we've got the cup spray painted black. We're gonna take Scotch spray adhesive. This is spray amount, spray amount, I'm sorry. It's repositional tack. Um, and we're gonna do a burnishing method on this side. We're gonna be using Vader. He's our holographic black. He's gonna make a beautiful rainbowy holographic effect on here. Um, I just got this on one of my little holders so that I don't get spray, um, spray adhesive all over my hands. Uh, but I'm gonna just, we're gonna go over my trash can um, do this outside if you're inside and spray just right here and then we're gonna we're gonna sprinkle Vader over the top and then we're gonna burnish him all right so we'll be right back all right so now you can see that the spray adhesive is giving it kind of a white color and that's how you know you've got a good coating on there so we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle Vader all over that you can find all this glitter on our website littleleanrose.com our whole website is free shipping the best part. All right, so now we got that laid down there. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna, I've got a piece of parchment paper down so that I can easily kind of pick this up, pour it back into the cup. Okay, then we're gonna burnish it down. So we're gonna just take our finger and rub it. And this is what this is gonna do is gonna lay that glitter flat down onto that cup. And that's gonna help you get that beautiful rainbow prism, the full spectrum of that rainbow through that glitter. So we're basically just flattening the glitter down onto the cup. Now there's a few ways you can do this also. You can also do the hang method, um, epoxy on this. Um, if you don't have spray adhesive, you could have done a thin layer of hang method um, and then peeled your tape back and then added your, um, then hit it with a torch the next day and follow the torch method tutorial that I have to do this exact same method with the glitter. It's called torch method. So if you don't have access to spray adhesive, you can still do a beautiful burnishing effect and get the gorgeous rainbow out of your tumbler. So what we're really going for is a smoothed out look on the cup. And you just rub with your finger until it's nice and smooth. And it's gonna be knocking off little bits of glitter but what it's actually also doing is laying down flat other glitters. This takes some work to get it through sometimes. And this is why you wanna make sure you don't put too much spray adhesive on because if you put too much spray adhesive on, you're gonna get lumps and clumps. And you, so you wanna make sure when you spray your spray adhesive on that you're at at least seven inches away so that it doesn't lump and clump up on you. Oh, it's gonna be gorgeous. So, can you start seeing that rainbow really, really pop out? We've only got a few more little rough spots here. Now there's a method called uh, Tacket method. Um, basically what that is, is just using a specific brand to do this method. Uh, but you don't need any specific brand. You just need any repositional spray or tack. And to just get do what exactly what I'm doing is just rub it until it lays down smooth and you don't have any rough spots left on the tumbler. 
Here we go. I think we got it. And so now you get that gorgeous rainbow effect on that glitter. I'm gonna make sure the edge is nice and clean. We're gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes and then we'll add a layer of hang method right on top of this. Oh, I'm sorry, nope. What we will do is um, we're gonna let it sit for 30 minutes, then we're gonna put a clear spray over the top to hold it in place, then we're gonna do a layer of hang method. So when we come back to do the hang method, I will have already done the Rust-Oleum clear coat on top of this. Um, you wanna make sure you use Rust-Oleum. You do not wanna use Krylon flat or matte because it, the shine will not come back. And you see you've got this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous rainbow um, through the glitter, you don't wanna lose that. Um, so make sure you use a uh, Rust-Oleum brand for this layer. Um, you can use matte or satin, it will work. Um, so we will be back and then we'll do the hang method. All right guys, so we've got our epoxy mixed. Uh, for this, we're gonna, we've got a coat of spray paint down on it to keep the glitter in place. We are gonna basically just put some on our finger and do like we did on the other side, but not from the bottom. We're just gonna be going along the sides it takes very, very little. We're basically just trying to seal this glitter in so that it does not move when we epoxy it. We don't want any of the black to migrate onto the super vibrant um, fluorescent colors. So this little layer of hang method, just as the little layer of hang method on the other side protected it from the tape, now this layer of epoxy will keep the black from flowing into the neon and having any little uh, migrating black flecks that will be super obvious if it migrates over to that neon side. So we are just doing the hang method over this because we don't want a big, heavy, heavy method, uh, heavy, heavy coating because it's not necessary. Um, that will just make the cup heavier. We're just trying to get it nice and sealed in better than, better than what a spray seal would do um, because it's black and black will just show up everywhere. So we're basically just putting on like a super thin coat, wiping off any extra, making sure it's right up against the edge. Perfect. You don't want to get too much because you don't want to get ripples and drips. And a little bit. Thank you. It seriously takes like one milliliter. It's, it's very hard or what, like two grams or one gram of our Little Ian Rose Epoxy. It's, it's very, very, very fine coat, but it is very, because you see all the black that's coming off on my fingers? That would be the glitter that would be traveling around your cup and getting into the neon if we had just tried to uh, put this down with a coat of epoxy. So this is just going to protect it. So we're making sure that it's staying in place. All right. So now we're going to take, this will be used for a little piece of jewelry. So now we're going to go ahead and remove the tape because we don't want the epoxy drying on the tape and lifting it. Gorgeous. And one little piece there. Perfect. Now let me show you guys this from the side. And we'll let this go ahead and cure overnight. So there is our divide cup. Beautiful. The colors just are so vibrant standing out against this. And what we have planned for the rest of this cup is going to be epic. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. We're going to let this set. It's uh, late in the evening here, so we're going to let this set overnight, and we'll be back tomorrow to start the next phase of this, this tumbler. So y'all know, if you've been following my channel, what just went on here, uh, I took my little mini scale here and poured out equal parts, part A and part B of our pouring art epoxy. And I stirred it together really well, and I just took it and I used these little medicine cups. 
Here's one, it's got a little bit of bow inside of it. And I mix it up really, really good. And then I apply it very gently over the top. You wanna make sure you're wearing your nitride gloves. Um, but we used about 20 grams total, because this is a 20, gram, uh, 20 ounce tumbler. So that's kind of like your rough estimate of how, you're, how to gauge how much uh, epoxy to use when you're gonna go and do a full coat. Uh, so we did a full coat on this one now to start sealing this all in and give us a really smooth surface so tomorrow we can start adding our decals. So we mix 10 grams of part A and 10 grams of part B. Uh, the link for this epoxy will be in the uh, drop down menu below and it's going to be available. So that's we're just going to let this roll now. It's got the full coat over the top. Uh, you can see this gorgeous rainbow in Vader and then the beautiful rainbow of the neon colors here. Um, it's going to look gorgeous tomorrow. This is, should stay glossy smooth and be perfect. So we'll be back. We'll see you guys in the morning. All right, so now we're now at the point where we're gonna add the little decals. Um, if you've seen my tie-dye tumbler, um, these are the cutouts that I used and saved from that tie-dye tumbler. Um, I will insert a quick little video um, in between here just to make sure you guys see how I did these. Um, you, but if you uh, wanna see how I made these individual little cuts, uh, check out my uh, tie-dye tumbler on my channel. And so what I'm gonna do with these pieces is take spray adhesive. I've got them just kind of laying on a piece of paper. Now I'm gonna take spray adhesive and spray the back. So you can see one side is glossy. Um, that's the, the clear vinyl and the backside is flat. I'm gonna spray spray adhesive on the flat backside and then we're gonna attach them to this cup. All right, so now we've got the spray adhesive on the back and we're gonna go ahead and apply these over the holographic portion. They will lay down just like a sticker how fun is that? them on there nice and smooth. Pressing them down nice and firm. So they adhere really well. All right, now it's time to add a decal on this side. All right, so now we're gonna add our decal with our holographic glitter vinyl on there. Peel it away just nice and gently from our carrier sheet to transfer paper. And we are going to lay it down along the curve. Placing the middle down first. Working our way up. Making sure it lays down. I just was very gentle so I didn't rub too much on top of our other vinyl because we don't want to pull that away as we pull the carrier sheet away. Perfect. All right, so now we're gonna add our final layer of epoxy over the top of this and we'll be all finished. All right, so now we've got our Little Eden Rose epoxy and I've mixed about 30 grams for this 20 ounce um, tumbler for our final layer. I'm doing this as basically a flood coat, which um, a lot of people always ask me, what is the definition of flood coat? A flood coat is basically about five grams to 10 grams more 
um, epoxy than you would normally use for a specific type of uh, specific tumbler size of tumbler. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because these um, these claw marks are very thick and I want to make sure that we only need one more layer of epoxy over the top to get them thoroughly covered um, and I want this to be the final coat so I don't want to have to add another coat after this so that's why I'm making sure this is pressed down real nice and firm um, and we're going to go ahead and do a full 30 grams of epoxy so when I measure out my epoxy for my tumblers on regularly if this was a 20 ounce tumbler I would usually do 15 to 18 grams but because I'm trying to get a nice thick coating on here and get this totally finished off with this layer, I'm gonna go ahead and use um, a total of 30 grams.